Hello everyone, Mr. Garino here. I'm going to show you some stuff about your CPU inside your system. If you're wondering which, what type of CPU you have, how many cores, how many threads, there's a fairly easy way to check. If you right click on your taskbar and go to Start Task Manager, using Windows 7 here, if you see four windows, that means you have four active cores, or, and this is the tricky part, or you have two active cores that are hyper-threaded. Now, right now, if you notice, this window and this window look kind of the same. So that's leading me to believe that I have, on my computer at home, two cores that are hyper-threaded. But to find out for sure, there's a really great utility you can use. It's called CPU ID, as in you can ID your CPU, and very simple to find because their website is www cpuid.com and they have actually a bunch of different utilities you can monitor your performance you can monitor your hardware you can do sort of like uh, bench testing on things if you put in a new video card and want to see you know uh, how well it's performing all different types of things like that but right now we're just talking about our CPU so I'm gonna click on CPU Z which is their software and then I would click here to download the um, setup file. It comes in an executable, meaning it's one file, .exe. You double click on it, it installs, you're done. You can also get it in a zipped file format if you like, um, but I just go with the executable. And then they also have some custom versions. I think the Rogue or the ROG version is if you have an Asus motherboard, it just gives you a fancier interface. And then, you know, different colors and stuff for Gigabyte and AS Rock. I guess they partner with them some. Well, I'm just going to take the standard version here. Um, I've already done it, so I clicked here, downloaded it to my downloads folder, uh, which you guys can do obviously at home. You're going to do that in school because you won't be able to install this thing. Um, but again, this is for your own personal use. So you would click here, download it, run it. And then what you would have is on your start programs, start all programs, you're going to have a folder called CPU ID and then CPU Z and then a folder CPU Z and then a file or a run CPU Z. Uh, it's going to give you that it's going to make changes to your computer. It's not really making changes, but because it's analyzing your computer, uh, Windows thinks it is, so you got to. If you have that uh, enabled where it always checks to see and asks you if you want to run something, which is definitely you should always have that enabled so that if anything, uh, any type of malware tries to install itself, when you see that thing pop up, that uh, UAC control window, when it pops up and says, hey, do you want to install this, and you know you're not installing anything, then you say no. But because I know I'm doing this, and it's exactly what it asked me if I wanted to do, I said yes. Okay, so here's the window interface, CPU-Z. It's an Intel Core i5-650 is what I have on my computer. Um, it's got a QPI link, 3.2 gigahertz is like my base core, but that does kind of fluctuate depending on what I'm asking my computer to do. And we'll see that there's uh, nifty technology with Intel processors called uh, Turbo Boost, which boosts uh, active processor cores when it can, if the other ones are sort of idle or not running fully, because it knows it can do that without um, getting the, uh, the processor too hot. And if you look down here, you'll see that I indeed do have two cores and four threads. So I have a dual core processor with hyper-threading enabled. It comes with hyper-threading. Okay. So this is like the first generation of the next generation <laughs> Intel Pentium 4s. I have some caches, which are high-speed memory built into the CPU. My main board, which is really, well, another word for it is motherboard. So I have an Asus motherboard, P7H55M Pro. It tells me my BIOS version. It tells me how much memory I have. It tells me the speed of my memory in each individual slot. I have four slots, two gigabytes in each, so that gives me eight gigabytes in all. It even tells me my graphics card. I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 Ti. If you're into gaming, always go with the GTX. The GTs are very much uh, less less performance you get out of one with a GT. And my memory, I have one gigabyte of memory on my video card. So pretty good video card. Not the best, not the greatest, and there's only one. A lot of people go with two. but 
pretty good. Okay, so this CPU Z can tell you a lot about your system. Um, this task manager tells you some stuff, uh, but this nice free utility can tell you a whole lot more. So if you want to know more about your system at home, go download this free utility and go check away and have fun. Thank you.